Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Right away, I'm getting something about the number 11. This could be the month of November. I'm also feeling strongly that there could be a fire sign involved here, possibly even a Sagittarius. Now, I know that's very specific and I do tend to channel some specific details throughout these readings, but even if those specifically don't resonate with you, I feel that your alignment with this video at this time, whenever you have come across it, does mean that there could be some significant message here for you. Now, of course, at the end of the day, always use your intuition above all else to determine which messages are meant for you. Now, I started by shuffling the hidden truth oracle deck and the very first card to come out here is i want you i want you and i feel that there is a masculine energy coming through for a divine feminine who is very much in their feelings but also very notably those feelings are very exclusive towards the divine feminine it's like no one else can compare to you your essence your energy However, this person is struggling because while they're saying, I want you, the card, we both know I am not the one for you is coming out here. Now, I don't feel this is what their soul is saying because there's a really strong soul alignment here, a potential for a really beautiful divine counter partnership of some kind. I feel this is what their ego is telling them, what their head is saying to them, what is possibly holding them back from fully communicating how they're feeling. They might feel as though they are not good enough for you, even though you are the one that they want. I also feel something about an expiration date or I, I just keep seeing withered flowers, like something that was beautiful that is now past its time energetically. Like, I don't know why I'm picking up on that energy. It's almost like this masculine feels as though it's too late for him to come in with that offer. It's like, again, I see someone giving someone flowers, but they're withered. It's like they were beautiful at their prime, but now it's like they feel regretful that this offer is coming so late or it might just feel like the timing is somehow off here which may be why this person has been hesitant about fully coming forward now as i'm shuffling i also do want to say that if you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation be sure to like the video and also double check that you are subscribed to the channel because by liking and subscribing this does allow me to pick up more easily on your energy and i tend to be able to channel more specifically for you both here in this video and in future videos as well so I'm turning now to the traditional tarot and I want to know who is this person? Let's get their identity first for those of you to whom this is connecting. Okay, so this is a connection that may have burnt out or lost momentum or might feel as though it's losing momentum. It's also one that may have lost momentum because it was restricted by circumstances that may have felt out of both of your control at the time, whether it was the circumstances of your life, other people involved, with the Hierophant reversed, it may be that something about your relationship in order to work would have needed to be inherently non-conforming or unconventional or would have had to challenge some type of difference or some type of tradition in the physical 3D world. So 
It may be that your backgrounds were very different. Your cultures were very different. It may be simply that you would have had to be in a long distance relationship to make this work, or that one of you had to break ties with your living location, your environment, possibly even your family in order to move towards this other person or vice versa. It's almost like your souls fit but your lives didn't is what i'm really strongly getting and because of that this connection may have lost some kind of momentum in the beginning or may feel like it's losing momentum at this time now i do see that if this was something that happened in the past if it burnt out lost momentum i feel that a powerful transformation has happened within this masculine between then and now because they are coming up as the king of cups the ten of pentacles and the ace of swords so what i'm getting with this masculine is they've gone through some kind of glow up they've gone through some kind of either spiritual or emotional transformation that they really want to reveal to you i'm hearing them say i want you to know how much i've changed in a positive way this may be very unexpected to you divine feminine you may have not been connecting with this person for a while and then it's like all of the sudden they've gone through this secret transformation that they now want to show you or reveal to to you because I feel that in the past when you connected this person may have been in a very unhealed energy they also may have come up more as a page energy someone who really wasn't as mature wasn't as prepared emotionally or materially to make a real offer to you but I feel like something has changed since then with the king of cups energy as well i'm seeing that this masculine may be much more in touch with their emotional world now there's like a true emotional maturity within them that may have not been there in the past they also may have accumulated more financially or they may be more stable financially materially in their working situation and i feel almost as though this masculine has always seen you as the one that they wanted to be with when they were ready to settle down or when they were at that point of emotional and material stability it's just that they weren't there in the past we have the third eye chakra in the upright position. So it's almost like this person intuitively has always held you in their heart. They've always held on to the idea of being with you because their intuition has always been telling them that you are truly the one for them. It's just that in the past, they didn't feel ready to really make you some type of a real offer. I feel that in the past, you may have been ready and this person may not have been ready. That feels kind of like the dynamic, but now that seems to have powerfully shifted. With Ace of Swords upright, I feel as though this person is beginning to really think towards making some kind of offer towards you or towards the future with you. Whereas in the past, they may have been really just drifting with the energy. In the past also, they may have been very out of touch with their own heart, with their own emotions. But I now see that something has had them really in their feelings recently, particularly about you with the heart chakra card coming up in the upright position. So what has this masculine been thinking or feeling about the divine feminine here wow woman holding a heart upright that you are the one holding my heart i keep seeing the number 144 as well this really can indicate possibly a twin flame connection for some of you although i don't feel that will be the case for all who are listening if this is a twin flame connection it's one that's coming into alignment or really pulling you both back into the orbit of a potential reunion we have adjacent possibilities in the upright position here telling me that there's some shifting through timelines that's been taking place specifically on the part of this masculine i feel almost as though you divine feminine 
have shifted onto this higher timeline. You've been holding these higher vibrational frequencies, whereas this masculine has been shifting through lower vibrational timelines in order to meet you up on a higher timeline. And for whoever I'm connecting with here, it seems like they really are aligning with that higher timeline, which is why they are consciously coming back into your mind or into your life, Divine Feminine. So this may be someone that you found yourself suddenly dreaming about again, suddenly thinking about again more consciously. This can all be indications that this masculine has begun to align with a higher timeline where they are beginning to align with you more energetically, whereas in the past they may have been more disaligned with your higher vibrational energies and frequencies, if that makes sense. However, this person's in a lot of self-doubt as well, because while they feel themselves aligning with you, while they've always been holding you on their heart and they're having some conscious realizations that that is the case, we also have the card, I wonder if you are happy without me. So I feel as though this masculine has seen you either online or they've seen you in person or they've just been thinking about you and whenever they see you or think about you they see you as being very self-sufficient as being very independent and possibly happy without them i see this as bringing up self-doubt because there's truly an unconditional love here where the masculine only wants to fully enter your life if they really feel like they can offer you something that is worth your your while. And although they've come into this deeper level of stability materially, physically, financially, although they are really beginning to embody that 10 of pentacles and that king of cups energy, there is still a part of them struggling with self-doubt, wondering if they can bring real happiness into your life and truly wanting you to be happy. I have to tell you, this is feeling like possibly the same masculine that I channeled in the most recent reading as well. So I will be leaving a link to that reading also because if this one is connecting, that reading may also be connecting with you. I also so saw the numbers 11 and 55 so once again the months of november or the month of may may be significant to you i'm also seeing powerful change represented by the number 555 bringing the two of you into energetic alignment represented with the number 1111 with the relationships card coming out again in this reading just like it did in the last reading i feel that the masculine is heavily thinking about wanting a relationship with you but honestly there are some masculines coming through who might actually be unsure as to your relationship status divine feminine so they may perceive you as someone with a lot of options. They may also be wondering, are you free and clear and able to move forward with them in a relationship? Or is that something that you would even want? They're feeling very fuzzy as to how you would even respond to them if they were to make an offer for greater stability or movement forward with you. With the Envy card coming out here, I have to say that if there is anyone in your life, Divine Feminine, or if this masculine is connected to you through social media and they see people liking your pictures or they see masculines connecting with you in some way, this masculine is feeling very jealous, not in a negative connotation kind of sense, because I do sense that they want the best for you, but it's almost like they wish they could be the one connecting more with you, either physically emotionally or in some type of conscious way in the 3d because i do feel there's been a lack of some of that conscious 3d connection or communication between the two of you recently so how else is this person feeling towards divine feminine at this time Ooh, wanting the separation to end with separation in the reverse position. I do feel that for many who will be connecting with this reading, there has been some type of 3D disconnect between you and this person, whether that's been not communicating frequently in the 3D world, whether that's been being physically apart. And I feel this person really wants to quickly end this separation between the two of you and reconnect in some type of way. 
I'm also getting a very fast moving, almost like a sudden unexpected energy around all of that as well. So the way that this person does come into your life or how they communicate with you or how quickly they express feelings for you or a desire to move forward with you may actually be very unexpected to you. So I want to know how this situation is going to progress forward. Okay, we have Angel of Balance and also Angel of Love in the upright position. So I feel that First of all, you Divine Feminine are really being guided by your spirit guides and your higher self to really remain centered and grounded in unconditional love, which of course, unconditional love begins with self-love, breaking down those barriers that prevent us from accessing unconditional love energy for ourselves. And once we establish that unconditional self-love, it naturally emanates outward as a frequency of unconditional love, which is actually the most powerful frequency on the planet. And I'm getting that because of this unconditional love that you are practicing divine feminine, you are becoming highly magnetic. You're also becoming a really powerful manifester, but you're manifesting from the heart space, not from the mind. And that is such a beautiful leveling up that's been taking place on your soul's path at this time. I do get that as you remain in that energy, it's almost like you become this gravitational force that is pulling to you everything that is aligned with that unconditional love energy that you've established within yourself. And that seems to include the healed version of this particular divine masculine energy coming through here. Because I feel that when you remain in your power, when you remain focused on self-love, when you remain grounded and centered, you will be calling in, magnetizing in the healed, awakened version of this masculine on your highest timeline, which could be a harmonious reunion timeline for the two of you if this masculine chooses to continue to align with that energy, which I feel he will because he's being pulled into that alignment in a really powerful way through his own conscious realization of his desire for you, Divine Feminine, his conscious realization that you are the only one for him as well. With Magician and the Mirror in the reverse position, this is one of my two twin flame cards in the deck. So once again, this could indicate a twin flame connection, particularly one that's been imbalanced or that's experienced some kind of separation recently. But I do see this masculine feeling the pull towards you, feeling essentially their inner divine feminine essence and energy being activated through your shift into self-love. And I feel with the anxiety card coming out here, this person has been thinking a bit anxiously or worrying about how they are going to connect with you in a deeper way. This person doesn't want to keep things on the surface with you. I'm getting that if you do communicate with this person from time to time, it feels like a lot of that communication in 3D feels very surface level, but it has a lot of depth to it energetically. And the masculine is now coming out of this haze, coming out of a fog, realizing the depth spiritually that they feel with you and desiring the physical interaction to match that depth, desiring to really know what's been on your heart and soul, to take things to a deeper level with you physically in the physical world. So I want to know more about what this masculine is going to communicate with you as you stand in your power, as you are magnetizing in more interaction in this connection. Hierophant in the reverse position. So I feel this masculine wanting to communicate that they have been having some powerful realizations lately. I feel this masculine may have been someone who was afraid to challenge tradition or go against the grain in the past, and this may have actually created blocks to your union or to fully coming together in the physical world. This masculine may come from a very different background, or they may have been afraid of 
living life unconventionally, whether that meant they had to separate from a long-term karmic partner, go through some kind of a divorce, or whether that meant they had to challenge some kind of belief system or tradition, I feel as though this masculine has actually changed a lot more than you may consciously realize, Divine Feminine, and they want to reveal to you these changes. I keep seeing someone who like went through some kind of spiritual, emotional makeover and wants to show you the after shot, if that makes sense. But the funny thing is, you, Divine Feminine, may only have the before picture of this masculine in your mind because I feel he hasn't been showing you those changes in real time. So you would be very surprised to see how much he's actually changed in secret. With the six of, not the six, the four of swords upright, I also feel that this masculine has been, again, feeling really stressed about how exactly they're going to come towards you or communicate all of this with you. I also feel that they have been going through a period of isolation in their own life. And during this period of time, although they felt very lonely, very socially disconnected, they've also gone through some type of secret awakening. And I say secret because I'm feeling that people around them are not aware of this spiritual breaking open that's been happening with this masculine. I feel they don't really have anyone to discuss this spiritual awakening with, which is why or part of why they really want to reconnect with you as well, because they intuitively sense you've already been through an awakening whether that's something the two of you have talked to or not. And it's almost like they want to have a conversation about what they've been beginning to awaken to, what they've been beginning to consciously realize. Yeah, with the sun card, this really represents a powerfully awakening masculine energy, someone who is coming into a deeper level of spiritual awareness. They might be going through some kind of transition right now with their work or finances as well. With the six of cups upright and the six of wands, the number six may be significant to your connection. This also could be the month of June, but I see this person really coming full circle or this connection coming full circle in some type of way. There might be a feeling even of nostalgia around the two of you reconnecting or coming together. Maybe you did connect a long time ago, or maybe this is just speaking to the fact that you have a lot of soul history, a lot of past life history. So reconnecting with each other almost does feel like reconnecting with a really ancient soul friend or soul lover. I also see that although this person, again, might be stressing about how they're going to come towards you, they ultimately will come forward in some type of way. I see that with the six of wands upright, this really representing success, a breakthrough, a triumph. Because yeah, with 10 of swords upright and eight of coins upright, I feel this 10 of swords really representing that this person has gone through a dark night of the soul in their spiritual awakening that has caused them to fully leave something in the past that may have been inhibiting your connection in the in the past. So this could be leaving behind a karmic partner, an addiction pattern, something that was preventing them from fully aligning with you in a harmonious union before now seems to have been fully hitting a dead end here. It's been fully left behind or in the past, pushing them into a new energy represented by that eight of coins coming out here. So wow, very powerful soul connection coming through this reading. I do feel many of these mini reading videos lately have been hyper specific to certain groups of people. So of course, only take what connects with you in a personal and intuitive way. I am going to pull one final card from the Rumi Oracle to close this reading. I also do want to let you know that I am on TikTok and Instagram with the username at magnetizer 
yourself if you would like to follow me there also if my energy does resonate with you i invite you to subscribe to the channel join our beautiful community of like-minded conscious creative beings here on youtube I also create subliminals on my app, Sound and Soulful. For those of you who don't know, subliminals are a really powerful subconscious mind reprogramming and manifestation tool to help you align with the energy of your desires and manifest more quickly in your life. And I have been using subliminals for years, seeing profound results from using them consistently. So I'm now sharing subliminals I've created through my mobile app available for all devices in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. This app also will be available for free to download and use for seven days in a free trial period however that free trial is being extended if you do sign up now because we are still in the final stages of testing for the app before payments are integrated so now is a really great time to sign up and test out the app i also want to give a big thank you to those of you who are leaving positive reviews in the app stores i read all of these reviews myself and i am so appreciative for each of you so i'm going to go ahead and read one final roomy oracle message here so the card is star mother arrakis be the king who has made his own kingdom be the moon that has made her own summit how much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon empty your head of all mortal lusts and become life without breath you will not call out for God anymore, for you have become immersed in God, Rumi. And the guidebook also says, Here is your guidance. Lay down your old weapons, for new technology awaits you. It is the most magnificent of forces, that of divine alignment, of surrender to the Star Mother and her way of luminous potency. Can you give yourself this gift, this blessing of love, power, and protection? No matter how dark life on earth seems at times, when we remember our holy heritage, we can also realize, I remember and am determined once more. You shall feel joy and be inclined to live fearlessly once again. Your success is only a matter of the passing of time. So I really feel that's a beautiful final message that everything is coming into a powerful alignment for you. Again, I am so grateful to each of you here co-creating these readings along with me. I'm sending you so much love at this time, wishing you a beautiful remainder of your day. Take care and I will connect with you here again in the next video.